What's going on guys? Welcome back to your pre-market watch list today. Uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. So first kind of thing we're taking a peek at uh, is SJ. This is a stock this morning that got news related to Bitcoin and the NFT market. So uh, pretty much they're trying to double whammy the stock with as much good news as possible. So you have uh, SJ stock. Uh, has news alliance with ship interactive to, to, to launch new loyalty rewards System to explore Bitcoin and NFT rewards for its 250 million users blah 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 Therefore stock has gone up pulled back now back up long story short the prices of 1412 and 1468 are long-term resistance. So this is your breakout point point. Um, most of the time your pre-market highs will always be the breakout point because generally the market will always run up to your resistance pre-market and then stop therefore creating this to make it the breakout point so if I could explain this right almost every single day a stock will gap up and it's going to run into some sort of long-term resistance mark and stop pre-market and at these price points short sellers like to trade opposite because Pretty much every single morning a stock is going to gap up it's going to run into long-term resistance and it's going to go down so knowing that short sellers like myself will short the top of this move where we know resistance is at and then it's going to drop okay and then later in the day pre-market or when the market opens if the stock can come up and get through that price then a lot of times there's going to be a breakout because everybody who traded downwards at this point is now getting stopped out as it goes through and then if you're asking how do you even determine this to be the resistance point? You go to a one year chart, boom, zoom in, shrink it down. You see that blue line, boom, okay, perfect. And then you go to a four hour chart, see that blue line, boom. So pretty much I'm just putting these red lines over top of those blue lines so that when I go and look at a one minute chart, I know exactly where they're at. And you can see that's exactly where the stock stops. So is it random? Not really, right? So most traders and most people in the market will pick the pre-market high level as a breakout point um, because when they wake up in the morning and they look at what's happened pre-market, they'll most likely see that the stock stopped somewhere and then it dropped and then they go, oh, that's resistance. But they would have no idea of knowing how to pick it before the top is set in. So we know how to pick where the top will become and then most traders will look left and go, oh, that's resistance because that's where it stopped. So we're showing you why resistance is created and then what happens after it's been created. So right now the resistance again is your 1417. And look, at you can see this candle stopped on a, to the penny, right? We were, so again, this is resistance, this is resistance through those points are gonna be your uh, legitimate breakout on SJ. All right, next stock we will talk about is RMO. So this is a stock that's um, currently up this morning. We traded it once, lost, uh, might trade it again. Either way, um, again, like this red line, that's resistance. We've been chopping around it, so it's kind of an awkward one, but this is resistance. If I show you, you'll make sense. You can see if we go to this time frame, you see exactly where that candle went up to, went up to this dotted line. So that's right now the resistance that's holding. But the stock also has a gap fill up to $10.11. So we figured that there's a chance we might see today or over the course of the next couple days, this stock RMO come up and fill the gap to $10. If you look at the daily chart, the gap to $10 also includes the same sort of deviation level. So you can see if we zoom, you can see there's a dotted line in there. So the dotted line lines up exactly to what you see that little gray line in there that gray line these two gray lines represent the gap in the chart okay and then this red line is just me putting it there so look at where the gap is and then look at where the dotted line is right so currently the gap in the market also lines up perfectly to our next resistance mark up so again if we can break this nine dollar and ten cent price then we should jump up fill the gap and then hit sort of this nine moving average and this 1009 price, which would also be, again, the gap fill. Um, so RMO is just kind of interesting. Uh, you can keep it on watch. Um, ideally, the only way you can really hit sort of that $10 price or this blue dotted line area is if the three deviation mark continues going up. So I think it's possible we see RMO up to 10 bucks a day, but we need to let the stock um, either trade sideways, trade down, or slightly up, but not a full breakout, which then gives this blue line uh, enough time to increase throughout the day up to 10. So essentially, we need the average true range for the stock RMO to expand or get larger 
um, in order for us to actually be able to reach $10 logically on the day. All right, next stock that we are going to talk about really is just a mix of energy stocks, Tesla and NEO. So again, uh, Tesla kind of rolling down, NEO rolling down after it hit our price target. If you guys remember, we were basically telling uh, you it was gonna go to about 43. We got to 42.26, almost got to 43. So back when it was trading down here in the 35s, we said it was a price target of 43. We missed the price target by about 70 cents. Sure, whatever. Uh, but still, um, still not just, just trading instantly back up. So if you look at the energy stocks, it's kind of interesting. You go look at SUNW, it's rolling down, FCL rolling down, uh, plug rolling down. It's actually kind of funny. I shorted plug here, then covered. I shorted plug here, covered on that pop, and then it fell out. What an idiot of me. So anyways, um, you can see all these energy stocks are starting to roll down, and it might even it might even drag Tesla and Neo down as well. Um, so I kind of feel like energy stocks and Tesla and Neo are, are all kind of trading very similar, and it almost appears like we might see the downtrend uh, continue on some of those energy stocks um, as well as Neo. So um, not totally sold that we're not that we're just going to go straight up. I think we got another pullback in here before we're going to continue trending to the upside. Okay. What we'll do quickly here is we'll run over um, the Qs. So we'll run over the NASDAQ and we'll run over the S&P 500. If you guys remember from my video from yesterday and pretty much all the videos of last week and there and, and before that when we were trading down here, um, we just hit our price target of 330 on the NASDAQ. As you guys remember, we said we we're gonna go to 330. Now the price target's gonna be all-time high. So we are gonna go to all-time high. I'll just say we are because we probably are. So again, we hit the 430 price tar 330 price target on the NASDAQ. We will probably go all the way up to 339 on the NASDAQ and see an all-time high test. If you go look at the SPY, you will see that the SPY is over 400, over 401, 402. I said that the price targets were 401, 402. We got to 401, 402, and then we shot all the way up to 407. So market is continuing to crush it as well. Um, I think we can see the market up to about 410. I would be a little hard pressed to see anything through 410 in this leg without a pullback. So right now, overall markets are strong. Um, I think our energy stocks are going to see some downside continuation, um, as well as a little bit on the downside for Neo and Tesla. Um, the main stocks alongside of that are SJ, RMO, and then also the BTX stock. Um, but BTX kind of gives me like a little unsettling feeling, like it's gonna be a confusing stock and it's gonna be a pain in the ass to trade and I almost think we probably wanna be bearish. So that being said, main watch BTX, um, SJ, RMO, and then of course, all the main big stocks throughout the day. Hope you guys learned something new, hope that helps. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.